Hi, today I would like to share with you some four free tools that you can leverage LinkedIn, totally free. You can find the job that you are looking for. Let's get started. The first one that I want to share with you is LinkedIn Profinder. LinkedIn Profinder is a platform where you can actually list yourself as a freelancer and you can find different jobs. So let me walk you through how this LinkedIn Profinder works and how you can find a job. For you to access the LinkedIn Profinder, first of all, you need to come to your first page of your LinkedIn. And what you're going to see is like right next to your photo at the top right, you will see some work section. And when you click on the work, it's going to open up a little pop-up. And right under that, you're going to see LinkedIn Profinder. After you click the LinkedIn Profinder, it's going to open a different tab for you. In here, LinkedIn actually lists out different type of popular services. This can be graphic design, marketing strategy, public relations, business law, accounting, photography, multiple different services. You can either find a freelancer in here or you can list yourself as a freelancer and it's totally free. The way that it works is like this. The first one is a discover section. This is where you can find the different providers. Again, you can use this to find a professional or you can actually list yourself as a professional that's like giving freelance services. After you answer like different type of questions, you can receive up to five different proposals if you're looking for a freelancer or if you're a freelancer by yourself and you're listing yourself as a person who's giving services, you'll be receiving different type of proposals from different people. And after you review them, you basically agree on the contract and you start working with that person. So LinkedIn Profinder is very similar to Upwork and Fiverr platforms. You might know that in Upwork, you can find different type of freelancers. You can either list yourself as a freelancer or you can just like try to find different type of freelancers for your projects. This tool is pretty cool. The only thing that's missing with this tool is basically the payment process. So in Upwork and Finder, you can see different like payment options, but in here you need to find a different version to use your payment. I know it's complicated and it's in the works in LinkedIn, but you can actually use different services like PayPal or Venmo for the services that you find. The best thing about this is basically you can see people's LinkedIn profile. The other thing you can do in addition to LinkedIn Profinder is the leveraging the group section. You might have known that LinkedIn makes money from the companies. So basically when they post a job to LinkedIn, they need to pay a certain fee to LinkedIn. But sometimes companies cannot afford to pay this fee. What they do is like they start posting the jobs from their company pages or they start posting them to related groups. So my humble recommendation is, if you're looking for a job right now, try to join the groups, which is free, totally free to join. Try to join the groups that you're interested in. For instance, if you're an engineer, you can find different groups in LinkedIn and you can just join them. Or if you're a student or if you're a teacher, in every single field, there are different groups. And my other recommendation is, definitely try to follow the companies that you wanna work for. Because most of the time when they're posting the jobs, they're also posting to the company feed as well. So this way, when you log into your LinkedIn, in your homepage, when you're scrolling down, you can see these opportunities just because you're following this company and you're following these groups. This is how you can increase finding the jobs, not just relying on certain job websites. The other one that I wanna to mention to you is leveraging LinkedIn alumni networks. When you graduate from a university, there's always an alumni network. So what you can do is like by typing your university, you can find these alumni networks and you can request to join. Most of the time, they don't accept the students immediately because they need to check you from their system whether you really graduated from that school or not. Once you pass that section, you'll be joining these alumni networks. Universities are using these pages because they would like to announce like different events and also like different job opportunities. And it will be amazing when you join these like groups, when you're reaching to an alumni, it will show that you have a common group in LinkedIn. This will be some sort of a warm introduction for the cold outreach that you are making in LinkedIn. Here's a bonus tip that I wanna share with you. LinkedIn Open Candidate. This tool really helps you if you want to look for a job but you don't want a recruiter or your current company to know that you're looking for a job. The way that you can actually do is basically, you turn on a little section in your LinkedIn, it signals the recruiters that you are an open candidate, you're looking for a job. So let me show you where you can find this and how you can actually open your LinkedIn profile for opportunities without notifying your current company. The way that you can activate this tool is like this. First, you need to go to the privacy section of your profile. 
and under the privacy section you're going to see the job seeking preferences when you come to this area you're going to see two sections that you can activate the first one you're going to see is job application setting and the second one is let recruiters know your open opportunities this is what that section is linkedin open candidate as you can see right under it says that share that you are open and appear in recruiter searches matching your career interest so in this section you can just change no to yes and this way you'll be activating your profile secretly to the recruiters these are the best free linkedin tools that you can leverage if you want to know more if you have more questions please don't forget to subscribe and leave the comment down below if you want to know more how you can optimize your LinkedIn profile more effectively, don't forget to check out my other videos. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.